what is up people, my name is Parapadude and welcome back to another video. And today I just recently saw Doctor Strange, as you can see right here. I know also you bought this poster. And I generally think it's an awesome movie and what we're gonna do today is discussing and my general thoughts and opinions on it, as I do think it's my it's in my top five superhero films of all time, along with Deadpool and Captain America, both of which are just outstanding, definite. If I was dabbing them. Anyway, <laughs> On with the video, and as you can see here, first of all, the Eye of Agamotto, which is Doctor Strange's iconic like amulet thing, that is confirmed to be an Infinity Stone. I think it's the Time Stone, and if you've been pay paying attention to most recent Marvel films, including I think it's yeah Age of Ultron and Guns of the Galaxy and Thor: Dark World, they all have Infinity Stones in it. This makes this the fourth and final Infinity Stone. Which means that Doctor Strange will appear, maybe, in Avengers Infinity War. Now, that's probably already confirmed, but I'm just going over it, because in the film it opens up and that little green smudge there, maybe you can see, probably not, the colour's really bad, is the Infinity Stone, pretty much, which I think powers it or something, gives him his powers. Anyway, it's a time stone, so obviously he controls time in the movie, so that's a bit of a spoiler alert there, I should have said that before, but, you know... Now next is the this is the first end credit scene for this film, which comes I think I think it's considered a mid credit scene because it comes in like halfway through the credits because it's like a lot afterwards, and it involves Thor and it basically sets up Thor Ragnarok so as well as Hulk, this guy will be in Thor Ragnarok which I just can't wait as I love this movie now and I need more Doctor Strange in my life because this is really awesome man I mean if you haven't watched it already definitely need to go watch it. And yeah, it's generally awesome, and that means he will potentially be in three MCU films before his pro probably will have a sequel in Phase Four or the MCU. So hopefully that will happen. I mean, I'm praying it will because this is awesome. I mean, Ant Man's getting a sequel. I'm assuming Black Panther will once his films out. So you know, it's kind of guaranteed. Uh, I mean, I've definitely been won over it. As you can see, I bought the poster. Which I'm definitely gonna put up in my room as you can see around here. Can't really see much in there in my vid, so take it in. And yeah, can't wait for the sequel. Now the last credit scene, which is the end credit scene, basically sets up um Doctor Strange 2. So that pretty much means they'll have a sequel. And one of the characters in the film, Mordo, which in the comics is like his major villain, gets sort of set up near the end of this movie. Uh, slowly he turns evil and kind of hates sorcerers, such as this chap. Yeah, so he will probably be the main antagonist of when the sequel comes around. Um, and as well, in the film, you get to see Dormammu, which I know is a really big bad, as well as Thanos in the film. And he's kind of like a big space alien rock thing. I really should have said this at the beginning of the video, but if you haven't already, this is a huge spoiler. Most of this is probably spoilers. So if you haven't watched it already, watch it now. That that felt creepy, but you should watch it, otherwise I've just spoiled most of the film for you. Well probably not most of it, but some pretty important details such as that. So yeah, anyway, my general thoughts of it, I thought it was a really great film. And it does kind of set up two major films that will be happening very soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. See you all next time. Goodbye.